Welcome to an overview of S4MC, the site call for Salesforce Marketing Cloud Connector from Fuse IT. I'm Anastasia Cambridge. With S4MC, you are able to seamlessly push information from site call to Salesforce Marketing Cloud, opening up a new world of opportunities for marketing, sales, and customer service in your business. This short video is part of a series of recordings designed to get you introduced to the many features and functions of the Fuse IT site call and Salesforce connectors highlighting the benefits of being able to bi-directionally update Sitecore, Salesforce and Salesforce Marketing Cloud. So with so much to cover, let's get you introduced to S4MC. With S4MC, you can seamlessly create or update subscribers in Marketing Cloud. You can quickly map Sitecore forms and fields to Salesforce Marketing Cloud subscribers, including data extensions. You can map the form to create and update subscribers in one or more subscriber lists. You can also set multiple rules for subscriber matching to reduce duplicates. And you can work with multiple marketing cloud instances. Coming soon to strengthen the relationship between Sitecore and Marketing Cloud with S4MC is the ability to seamlessly push Sitecore personalization information to the Marketing Cloud subscriber record, and also the ability to attach Sitecore analytics to Marketing Cloud data extensions. Sounds great, but how does this work? To set up, Add the s for mc custom save action to your site call form or forms. Then map the forms in site call to Marketing Cloud using the s for mc mapping wizard. Then, when the visitors fill in the form on the website, s for mc pushes the form data to Marketing Cloud, either adding a subscriber or updating an existing subscriber based on the settings configured in the mapping wizard. Email campaigns, for example, can then easily be sent from Marketing Cloud to the subscribers collected or updated from the site call forms. So how does this work in practice? Let's go and have a look at how to set up S4MC and then let's see it in action. Once you have installed the S4MC Sitecore package, the S4MC custom save action is available to use in your forms and the S4MC mapping wizard will appear as a launchpad application. The forms available to the mapping wizard have been configured in Sitecore with the S4MC save action. Here we will select the product training form to map to Marketing Cloud. Before we complete the mapping, Let's have a look at the subscriber lists and data extensions in Marketing Cloud, as these are part of the mapping process. Here we can see the subscriber lists, which will be available to map to in the S4MC mapping wizard. S4MC also allows you to map forms to data extensions in Marketing Cloud. Note that in the example of global product training, the subscriber relationship has been configured for the subscriber key field to relate to subscribers on the subscriber key. You can also see the data extension fields, which we'll see in the S4S mapping wizard. Let's map our form to Marketing Cloud. Firstly, we'll select the Marketing Cloud instance that we want to connect to. S4MC supports multiple Marketing Cloud instances. Then we'll choose the global product training subscriber list as we saw in Marketing Cloud. We can also select more than one list. Following on, we'll map the site call form fields to the subscriber attributes, but we'll leave the product and training level as these are the data extension fields. We can now have a look at the subscriber matching rule. This compares the field values to manage subscriber matching so S4MC knows if to create a new subscriber or to update an existing one. In this case, we'll select email, but we could also select more than one field. In this scenario, we are using a data extension. We do this to collect the product and training level information from the visitor. Now we can map the form fields to the data extension fields. This is where we'll select product and training level fields, and then we can save the mapping. Now we are ready to see S4MC in action. Before we fill in the form on the website, let's have a quick look at the existing subscriber on our global product training list in Marketing Cloud. Here we can see the subscriber with some empty fields. Now let's go and fill in the form. Here is our global product training form on the Sitecore website. Let's first fill it in with the subscriber that we know is already in Marketing Cloud, but this time we'll add in those missing fields. Once finished, we'll submit the form and it can update Marketing Cloud. 
Now let's go and fill in a form again, but this time using a subscriber that we know doesn't exist in Marketing Cloud. Once completed, we'll hit the Submit button on the form and as for MC can send the data through to Marketing Cloud. Now let's go and have a look at how this looks in Marketing Cloud. Back in Marketing Cloud, let's have a look at the subscriber list Global Product Training. Here we can see that we now have two subscribers. If we scroll across, we can see that the fields have now been populated from the Sitecore form by s for mc We can also see the same on the new subscriber. Let's have a look at the data extension fields. Here we can see that the product and training level that we filled in on the forms has come through to Marketing Cloud. With a basic understanding of the s for mc Sitecore for Salesforce Marketing Cloud Connector, Feel free to explore our other videos on Sitecore for Salesforce connectors. Do look out for the advanced Sitecore for Salesforce integration features in our S4S overview videos. As you have seen with S4MC, you are able to seamlessly push information from Sitecore to Salesforce Marketing Cloud, opening up a new world of opportunities for marketing, sales and customer service in your business. Thank you for watching. Please do contact us if you have any questions or would like to know more about the S4MC connector from Fuse IT.